Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Marvin. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Speech 3D. Today, I'm very happy to be here, AWE Asia, to introduce uh, some what I'm learning, uh, some insight about, about the AR, AR a film based economy. And uh, I'm very happy to introduce David, David to, uh, as a co speaker. We are talk, we'll talk together. Okay, David. Hi Marvin, hi everyone. Good morning. Uh, I'm David. I'm from Acorn Pacific Venture. We are a VC firm based in Silicon Valley, investing in early stage uh, companies. I'm the only partner in Asia and based in Taiwan, but I'm a half Singaporean. I'm a PR here, so I'm um, collecting uh, sourcing deals in Taiwan and uh, Singapore and Southeast Asia. Marvin uh, is my uh, friend for over 10 years. I'm very pleasure to know you guys. Okay, uh, besides the, uh, the role of venture capital, David has a very special resume. And he used to be the general manager for the uh, professional baseball team called Wei Chen Dragon. He's a, uh, this team just won the champion last year. How do you feel about the champion? <laughs> Okay, uh, so I, I used to be a GM of a professional baseball team. Uh, it's, it's the most sophisticated job I've ever done in my career. Uh, like, if you are the GM of Manchester United, you won't, your life won't be easy. You have to deal with a lot of interfaces. That was my life. But, but I was always in the technology side. Uh, before this job, I used to be the GM of Alibaba Taiwan. So this is really nothing about my previous uh, career path. This is just a, a self accomplishment, especially when I see the teams, uh, a brand new team, uh, come to a championship space. So it's a very unique experience. Yes, I think the, the quite uh, unique experience. I was so envy. Uh, today my uh, sharing is very interesting. You can uh, take a look for this. My company, we have our own AI model, uh, with, which is about the face recognition and body checking. So it makes sense to do the business called virtual try on uh, as a venture capital. Just a little bit louder. Virtual try on is uh, uh, for the AR insect. Some people were going to, to say this is business. Is a, we have recurrent revenue, sustainable business model. I think the venture capital don't like the one shot budget base. They just like you can do some sustainable revenue. Or other I, I don't want to invest you. So always like this. So we did the, the virtual trial for several years. You can see we already have product. But I can share with you this business model cannot make profit, cannot make even an, enough of money. So the main reason is uh, the 3D model is very expensive to produce. You can see that we, we need a 3D model to do the AR tryout, but the, the, for, especially for the fast fashion, the, the 3D model, when you already create, already, uh, well, already uh, face out. So this is very difficult to catch. Another reason uh, we are uh, get, uh, try to not do it for virtual tryout. And, uh, oh sorry, for the virtual tryout, what do you think about it? Well, uh, Marvin and I helped each other for, for a decade. Uh, he helped me a lot in, in you know, my positions. But for this one, the, uh, from a VC standpoint, my suggestion is this kind of revenue is not very sustainable. And uh, for, as a startup, it's not a very durable product. So for VC, you know, we use, do not like to see a startup focusing on project-based income instead of a that was uh, the suggestion I gave to Bob. Yeah, I see the, the AWE, everybody come here is an AR expert. So we are looking for big money, right? The small money is not, cannot, just for make a living is not our objective. So we got the uh, inspiration for the SPA AR. Uh, this is a very interesting story. That's, uh, that's nice, that's a breaking news for from SPA AR, but uh, I still can tell you or what the value from Spire is uh, Facebook made this, like we uh, already 
machine make about thousands camera effect for hundreds of red to make the we call the filter or we call the camera effect called we call the um, ARX. You can call this as ARX. Now the official name is ARX. So this kind of uh, content is very engaging. The consumer like to um, promote and share a project. So this get viral easily. Um, one thing uh, I can share, another thing is about the demo. You remember yes. this? Yes, yes, yes. So so all the demo that Robin showed in his legacy products, I won't say it's wrong, right? It was right, yeah, if you see five years ago, right? But the, the thing is the paradigm shift. Uh, the giants, and uh, these companies, they shift their Revenue-wise, it will like decrease from time to time because fashion change a lot. But young girls like to play change a lot. So this one is very interesting. This is, the, I think, the, uh, the first POC that he owned the sports market with that one was when I was the GM of a professional baseball team. And uh, this machine was installed in our stadium. It's young people trying to put on uh, their seat and hats, and e e even they can uh, put their names in their rosters so, and take photos. So they may have some uh, a memory, uh, a memorable uh, photos and memories. Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's very fun and interesting. It's amazing. Uh, the people have this kind of content they want to share is most important thing. And so we know that user-generated content is a key for the AR segment. Uh, if we are looking for the big money, uh, we can think about UGC, this part. So we start to create this UGC machine. We can take a look. This is not our team. This is a different team. He's yeah. doing business with other team. Uh, uh, this, this is very advanced. Yeah, this is uh, the most popular professional baseball team called uh, Brother Elephant. They build this machine and uh, you can go into the small room, choose your player, you buy your favorite one, and uh, you pay, and you can start to experience, to have this high experience. Okay, you can, you sit down and uh, the player come out. Can you tell them which is virtual, which is reality? Oh, it take a year to make this the virtual to be very real. Okay, and the, the sports star can say hello, you can take photo together, look at almost a, in, a, in the same room. This is a very popular. We will chase it possible. We will allow the there to take photos that Yes, yeah. because this uh, can found copyright or found agency or who cannot allow us to Fans can attack you, can touch you. Which is not allowed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope I can touch. So physically, we can uh, we interact with the, the group, uh, star or some, some uh, celebrity. But we use the AR technology to, to change the, uh, the world. And the interesting thing, uh, KOL. You know, KOL do this by themselves. It's a wonderful, it's a amazing experience you want to share in their social media platform. So we don't spend any marketing money. And uh, the people all like, all know this service. What do you think of the general manager? I think it's great. Especially we have a very different culture. We, we have a equivalent size of charity of uh, as players. So like the baseball team, we have 28 players in, in the major. Few in the minor, okay. So in the major league, we have 28 players, but we have 28 cheerleaders too. So if you want to see a, a professional ball game, you have something that you can enjoy. But if you want to see cheerleaders, you have uh, your uh, idol to follow. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting learning with uh, just uh, 
we just uh, go live in uh, April, middle of April, just four months. So we learned a lot during this period. It's a really uh, very good case for AR application, uh, especially for the uh, sports technology and the uh, faith economy. And the, the David here always talk about cheerleader. What is cheerleader? Uh, always talk about yeah, because uh, uh, for us, our money is a cheerleader. It's a money. It's a huge money. And it's a amazing. Uh, we just learned. I can share this to you. In Taiwan, Korea, our professional baseball have a very special culture. It's a cheerleader. They even, you can see this, they have a special dance for the individual cheerleader. And uh, when the fans come into the stadium, you can see the fans here, they are very busy to take photo. And when the cheerleader moves, they go follow them. This is from uh, all star games. So all the teams dance and defend, so they wear different colors. They're their teams. One thing is very special one is uh, this uh, cheerleader all come from Korea. The most uh, popular one uh, is come from Korea, but in Taiwan they are very happy. The reason is uh, in Taiwan we treat this cheerleader as a celebrity. The, what does a celebrity mean? You, you cannot touch the celebrity physically, but we use uh, AR technology to overcome this battle there. So you like the cheerleader? Yeah, this is from Russian Dragon. Oh, yeah, yes, from, this, this from, is the Russian Dragon team. From, from Korea, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, uh, I think that for venture capital point of view, this is about the money, uh, it's sustainable money. We put a machine over there, you can see, we put a, New generation UGC machine again in a different team called FUBA Angel uh, team. You can take a look. We just launched it two weeks ago, very new. AR Virtual Studio. You can see the user to use this. Hey, this. Can you tell which is virtual, which is real? Yeah. A cheerleader has a special dance. And the fans can dance together with a cheerleader. It's a dream for you guys. Uh, I, can, I, <laughs> I, I, I can talk to them. <laughs> okay. Because the general manager okay. maybe have a, can have a special right. They are, they are my friends. They are my friends. <laughs> okay, yeah. But you know that that's why uh, most of people have been. Yeah, the interesting thing is uh, the fans. Uh, normally, they want to use a big camera to chase the cheerleader. But in this small room, you can uh, physically, look physically interact with the cheerleader, and then they want to share in their Instagram and their Facebook to show off. Uh, I, I, I think it's very really interesting. I show some example to you. This one is very interesting. He looked like a real simple cheerleader in person. I cannot believe we built this machine. Even I cannot pretend like this. Another case like this. Great nature. Actually, we take a, a, a year to make these um, experiences better, like uh, the lighting, like the camera angle, so many uh, different parameters we adjust and optimize so that we can look uh, very, very real. Oh, this is uh, the another chance. The fans know how to interact with cheerleaders and they feel very happy, they feel satisfied. And the most important thing is that we streamline the process to make this content. So the cost become very low compared to 3D model. 3D model, wow, we take a special uh, expert to make the 3D model a couple months, and uh, when you, the 3D model is ready, and the business got away. So 
this is totally different business. It's a UGC is really weak. We see it's a king, uh, and the fans can satisfy and uh, willing and happy and decide to pay the money. Oh, so this is a business. Is uh, we have intensive revenue and a lower cost. That's the reason we say the booster ROI for the AR business. What do you think? Uh, this is indeed increase uh, additional revenue stream for professional sports. Yeah, uh, especially now the now. Microphones. So, so um, for sports teams, there, there, are, there are usually four revenue streams. Four revenue streams. First of all, is broadcasting. Okay. So, so any country, any sports is the same. Second thing is the ticketing. Third thing is sponsorship. Fourth thing is products. So, this is virtual products. Virtual income is the the five, the fifth revenue for um, sports teams. Especially some company now is talking about digital transformation. So this is something like the, the showcase of digital transformation. So this kind of professional baseball team, they come to us and say, hey, if speed treaty, you can do some, uh, something new, something interesting for us. And we can let the fans feel satisfied, feel happy, the most important objective for us. So uh, after the sports star or cheerleader, we have several wish lists. For example, the people come to us and say, um, can you uh, make the movie star? Can you make the famous singer together? So even we have this case. I think the Chinese may know this uh, lady called Teresa Deng, Deng Yijun. She should be the most uh, famous Chinese singer in the world, but uh, she already passed away for more than several decades. So uh, some all fans come to us and say, hey, Speech Reading, can you help to us to make us can sing along with uh, Teresa Ten? There are uh, several family, famous songs I want to sing together with, with, with her. In the past few years, it's impossible. But now, on the current AI and the AR technology, you can make this happen. Oh, so it's in very interesting. interesting. So we got the uh, slot to work with uh, this. Um, in, the, can maybe in the future, you can see this kind of uh, uh, use case. And even that, the people say, hey, how about the uh, BTS? How about Blackpink? How about Taylor Swift? I can interview with, with them. If you have any copyright, you can let me know how to contact with them. Uh, well, I would more than happy to make this uh, case uh, come true. Uh, how about Donald Trump? So this is uh, some uh, and something uh, which uh, besides the new POC and some technology we want to integrate in the future. For example, like a voice recognition, like a eyeball tracking, like an instant translation, like some sensor to make this uh, scenario, to make this uh, experience even better to build this machine. So this UGC machine is our uh, what we learned from our past few months is a really, really amazing outcome. So uh, let me recap today uh, our conversation. One thing is uh, we talk about the ROI, it means uh, the higher revenue and lower cost. So the traditional uh, virtual triangle cannot really uh, monetization for us, and uh, we try to do different. So UGC is so what we learned is uh, uh, good for AR segment to make uh, profit. So we, we build a, a AR launch, AR virtual studio uh, in the, with a professional baseball team, with sports uh, star or with cheerleaders. Uh, this is our uh, today's share. And I hope to uh, you can show, show me some more, some more interesting, especially in Singapore or Asia South, any good uh, example we can make a similar case. Okay, so David. Yeah, I, I think I think Marvin showing uh, I think that uh, for uh, from DC standpoints, uh, including three standpoints. Uh, one is uh, one is a uh, KOL economy because even players, cheerleaders, they are uh, with a nano KOL or mini KOL in Taiwan. Korea, like Asian countries. 
Uh, in here, I know there are a few great KOL platforms like Party Post, and, and a lot of uh, startups doing uh, this, this kind of topic because now you're putting message to the consumer's mind. Now it's very different and very difficult. It's, it's not like uh, you put on the Facebook or Twitter uh, advertising and they will uh, accept it and uh, take action to buy anything. Uh, a lot of uh, buying actions or consuming behavior uh, becoming, you have to re-digest the content that you tell telling you and then you make a decision. Uh, now you buy a cell phone, you buy uh, find a restaurant, you need to a recommendation. The second perspective is event marketing. And Marvin's product is very tied to event marketing, so this is the second perspective. Okay, the, 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 third, the third perspective is uh, the, the virtual reality, which in the past we think is very difficult to monetize it, but, but now you can uh, put it in, the, uh, in, 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 in a virtual way, like once our stadium was the machine installed, we don't have to hire a man to take care of how we, to monetize it. So the machine itself will generate money for sports teams and for um, or even for the cheerleader, we can do share uh, 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 the profit sharing with them to see you know which earn the most money for the team. I think uh, from the three perspective, it's a perfect idea. I think. Okay, so there's a today our sharing. Uh, any question from your side? Any idea? Is it funny? Interesting? But actually, I want to share just uh, the really for uh, because here is AWE. I just want to show the real use case for the technology to use uh, in the real. More. Not only for a project, but we, we, we did a lot of project. Oh, the project, the finish, the, the just nothing happened. So we want to build this kind of product is sustainable. For, for example, like uh, the brother elephant team, even like uh, uh, Fubang, the angel, they want to use this machine, uh, this uh, uh, launch for five years. <laughs> so, so yeah, so it, please, any questions? BC is here, sports team is here, seasonal entrepreneur is here. And one thing to clarify, oh, please, yeah. Um, you mentioned that it took a year to calibrate your machine. Is that right? It took a year to calibrate your machine. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this is our experience because uh, we use the kiosk in the, in the you can see the uh, Korean photo booths. We have this uh, several uh, uh, solution like a kiosk, and uh, you can also do a similar scenario, but the, the lighting and uh, is different because we have to record all the video first and then go to the, the live. Then, but the lighting is different. So uh, how, the camera how, angle. how fast would it take to, to launch something like that for a brand? Uh, you know, Honestly, because these two two showcases come from the very big ho uh, financial holding company in Taiwan, we call Zhongxin and Fuba. So uh, they did a lot of legal review first because this, the company provide the copyright for their uh, player and also the cheerleader. So they review first, uh, and we are going to the tech technology side uh, later. So totally, we take about. Uh, for so the first case, we talk about almost uh, uh, three quarters, but the, the second team just two months. So we know you, everything. So for your team, it's two months. Uh, if you knew any new case count, can do it in one month. Right. So, so all order of the sports teams is different. So most of the teams in Taiwan is owned by bank. Like bank. here, OCBC sponsor. Yeah, from a bank as well. <laughs> bank is <laughs> a very big. <laughs> and a very bank, big. Yes, yes. Most of time will spend on legal. Yes, yeah. that is cool. Because the copyright is key for this product, so sense. One thing to clarify, so Taiwan baseball is not like this, okay? Oh, not only girls, we do play baseball. Okay? Uh -huh. So this is just showcasing. So baseball was pretty much, you guys understand, it's not a baseball country here, but 
mostly invented by Americans and Japanese, right? Uh, but Taiwan and Korea, we really do this like entertainment business. So if you come to Taiwan, find us, we'll kind of take you to the stadium and to watch a real baseball game, plus cheerleaders. A very, very different feeling of how sports plus entertainment. So welcome to Taipei, welcome to Taipei Dome. Taipei Dome is even, well, that cannot even better. It's similar to like the Tokyo Dome. So <laughs> we have we have an air conditioned, very comfortable environment to see the baseball. Okay, so that, uh, this concludes. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you.